what's up YouTube? Yesterday we went over one of the biggest quality of life changes in PoE in the last two years and it was dash tab affinities. But there is a reason why I said in the past two years because this is kind of like a history lesson. If you haven't played PoE in the past before and how you're used to the buttery smooth movement of PoE like MOBAs. Well, back in I think 2015, PoE was not really like this. The game was kind of stagnant. In terms of the players that it had, it was kind of still, I think, in closed beta or open beta. Not really sure. But this one change catapulted PoE from pretty much a small ARPG into one of the titans of today. And it is something that not a lot of people know about. And a lot of people do see this mode in the settings. They see networking mode and it says lockstep, right? But they don't really know exactly what it means and how actually bad the game was before lockstep. I do think if this, this change never happened, PoE would not be where it was, where it is today. Now, in order to understand why exactly lockstep is needed, we're going to go look into one of these clips from way before back in the day. And this is Kungin playing. Um, this is what happens when desync happens, right? So you see he's pretty much just leap slamming around, killing things. I think back in the day, leap slam was actually a viable build. or so. Oh yeah, I guess it is a viable build, but... Basically, if you notice, he is leap slamming around corners and edges of the map. So right now, he's taking damage even though there's no mobs next to him, right? So what is this magic that's happening, right? Well, that is the magic of desync. So desync is where the game client on a player's computer and PoE server is not in sync with each other. So they're pretty much out of sync. So where the character is on your screen is not where it actually is on the game's uh, server, right? And the reason why they don't put the information on your own computer is because this would allow people to cheat really easily. If the calculations are done on your own computer, you can modify the values or something like that. So what this means is that this led to players having to spam slash OOS to resync their position in game with the server. Now, if you see here, you can still do this, right? Because you can actually change your networking mode to something else. So this is what the game used to be like, right? So let's, let's check it out. We put it on a high ping server, let's say, and then we put it on to predictive mode. This is pretty much what the game would be like with desync, right? So I don't really know if you could actually see what it seems like, but you will have to type in this command slash OOS. And what slash OOS does is it resyncs you with the server and it forces the resync instead of something that happens every now and then. I'm not really sure if you could actually force it like this, but basically, if you use movement skills around corners, it yeah, will ready? feel really bad. Four. So let's see, we are actually going to be stuck soon, right? Just a lot of just moving around. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess we were still in sync, right? But basically, back in the day, the character would be somewhere super, super far away or something like that, and yeah. So moving, moving skills around a corner like I was doing is a big no-no. So basically, this would just lead to a horrible, horrible experience while playing. You would be getting hit randomly when you're nowhere near monsters. You would randomly just die pretty much. So this was a problem that was by far the biggest problem playing in PoE, right? So was it a solvable issue? Well, GGG thought that this issue was not really solvable. And in one of the manifestos addressing desync, they pretty much said, in order to keep hardcore game mechanics like body blocking, studying, and missing while also preventing players from manipulating combat results, small amounts of desync will occur naturally. There's no way around this, right? So this is pretty much saying there's no way of fixing the issue due to the speed of light. The ideal solution from GGG would be to very rapidly detect and correct those sync problems, putting things back where they should be. We have not yet delivered the solution to our satisfaction. So this is kind of like a pseudo lockstep, but not really done in the same exact way. Once we have though, you may notice periodic resyncs, which may initially feel like you're out of sync all the time. That's because the system will be acknowledging it and correcting it rather than assuming that it's all going to be fine letting you end up two rooms away pinned against the wall. This is pretty much the statement of what happens in PoE back in the day. So nowadays, like even on predictive, I do think the server probably resyncs you more often so that it's not really as bad of an issue as it was before, but before, you would dread doing maps like Courtyard. Courtyard used to be one of those maps with so many little corners around each square. 
that you would constantly be desynced and courtyard was like one of the end game maps that you would consistently be farming all the time right so in patch 2.0.0 known as the awakening expansion where they added dominus i think they introduced a mode called lockstep now lockstep is mainly used in mobas like league of legends dota and stuff like that and you experience no desync because the monsters are exactly where they are right the big downside is that you need good ping for lockstep so if you do play poe on lockstep with high ping it is pretty much borderline unplayable and this is the reason why poe actually feels so bad to play compared to other games like shooting games where if you're on 100 ping it doesn't feel unplayable but on 100 like 50p on lockstep everything just feels so delayed like so drastically delayed that it feels a lot worse than whatever ping that you actually have and if you're ever on super high ping you cannot play on lockstep unless you just want to have the most miserable experience where the game does not feel responsive at all so basically the system now has to wait the length of your ping before your actions are carried out by your avatar right so this pretty much guarantees that every single action you do is going to be done in real time and it will be reflected upon the game server so that's how they actually ended up fixing lockstep now they pretty much just threw this in and everyone pretty much rejoiced right this was definitely the biggest change that ever happened in poe history so you might be wondering how is it today well lockstep still works amazingly today if you have low ping and the game pretty much is night and day from how it used to be like before like it is actually kind of crazy because back in the day like there's a certain skill almost to like using an oos macro so let's see if we can i'm not sure if i'm actually running my logout script yeah so so if you actually see here on the logout script let's see on the auto hotkey let's see lut bot lut tool settings let's see do you see how there's a command right here slash slash oos that's the command that you have to do to force yourself to resync with the server and there was almost a certain skill in knowing when to press like resync with the server right because you would kind of be able to guess Oh, my character probably needs to resync if it's if you're cycloning or rolling blades around a corner, right? So there's a kind of a little skill right there, but in the end, no one wants to play on predictive mode, right? Some people still prefer to play on predictive mode though, and that's pretty much just because you have high ping and there's nothing you can really do about it. If you have high ping, you pretty much are trying to choose the lesser of two evils, and sometimes it probably feels a lot better to have the game be responsive than just feel like super delayed with what's like equivalent of 250 ping or something like that. So definitely Lockstep has completely revamped the game today to feel a lot more modern. And overall, what can we actually conclude from this? Now, this is going to be a very copium take and it kind of is, right? So because that statement where GG said that they couldn't actually fix like desync issues in the past, it gives me hope that one day they can find a way to implement trade in a way that will be good, not be heavily manipulated by bots, and won't rely on me having to whisper like a thousand people before I can start mapping, right? So maybe this could be a nice way of saying that in the future with better technology, our past problems with trade might just be an afterthought, right? Maybe they'll find some innovative way for me to pick up loot without my hand falling off. Now, you might be wondering, how big was this actual change? Well, I think the numbers speak for themselves, right? If you look in the past on uh, POE numbers, so it came out around July 2015. Now, you can see before, no one really played POE back in the day. Well, we can actually look in the Steam charts and look even further back. So you can see, like, no no league before ever had the traction, right? 10,000, 12,000, maybe this one was a previous expansion league last time. But you can see, never has it ever reached that grade of heights. And then afterwards, it exploded, right? People stayed a lot longer playing the game because it just felt a lot better. And this was the initial push that made PoE as popular as it was today. And then it pretty much like kept along the same vein until I think Awakener came out and then kind of just got more and more popular, right? But I think without Desync, Fix, and Lockstep, PoE would never reach the heights of its success today. And it is great to see that they were able to fix it because let me tell you, if you played in the POE before 2015, you would know how bad desync is and how 
it literally made you not want to play the game anymore. But you pretty much just kept up with it because you felt felt that GG was a good company and that they could fix all issues, right? So TLDR, DSync will fix trade and looting for PoE and also give us a better end game, right? But thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you find more mirrors, exalts, and mage bloods than me. And see you next time. Bye.